I'm Holger Levsen and I will speak about Debian Community Org. Um, yeah, welcome. Um, I'll first say something a bit about me, how I had the idea, the inspiration, what I planned for, or planned for Debian Community and the status. And then I would like to have feedback or a discussion. Um, how many of you are Debian developers? And how many of you are Debian developers? And not in NM? Not, okay, not surprising. It's a, a Debian developer conference. And how many of you don't want to become Debian developers? Still some people, okay. <laughs> And in fact, most contributors in Debian are not Debian developers. The bug tracking system has 50,000 submitters, email addresses, and there are only 1,000 Debian developers. Um, this <coughs> I used to have this, slides, this slide to explain before I was, a, when I made first gave this talk, um, before I was a Debian developer, I was already heavily involved in Debian. I've done all this before I was a developer. Um, so it's possible to work in Debian without being a developer. And another thing about me is that I'm too busy to do this. So I've started a Debian community in January, had some more time in February and then got distracted by other stuff, mostly Debian, Edu, and work. Um, so I, I will not be able to set this up alone. I, I could, but I know that would take much longer, so I appreciate help. And I cannot um, write all the content alone. Um, I had the idea in January, in, while I was at the Linux conference in Australia, after seeing these two talks from um, one from Jono Bacon about um, the Ubuntu community. Jono is the Ubuntu community manager. Um, and it was quite insight insightful to see how much um, Ubuntu cares to build communities, to build local communities, um, and to steer that so that it's, um, there's some, some coordinated effort. Um, and the other talk was by Casey Sierra about passionate users. Um, both, <coughs> both talks are linked on my blog with this blog post. Basically, you need to remember my blog and then the post 83 or search for Ubuntu or whatever. I don't blog about Ubuntu often. Um, and Casey explained from the um, what other communities do to get people involved. She had the example <coughs> um, how computer game level computer game levels are designed. The first levels are easy, so the people get hooked up to the game, and then it gets harder and harder, and the people try to man manage this level and get further. And the same is also with horse training. You can get these, um, yeah, these something like this, <laughs> um, with different colors, which show that you made this and this training with the horse, and the same is with martial arts belts, where you first get a white belt and then an orange or, or green or whatever, and you get to different levels, and people want, want to get further with that. And this, this talk was, um, had many good aspects. Um, there was also um, about um, pas passion, motivation, and the flow, what people um, motivate to, to dedicate their work to a volunteer project and the flow which happens when people code very long and their, their mind gets drifted into the code and if they get interrupted with it then um, the concentration goes away and I think um, this also happens in Debian if there's a flame where people are working and then they suddenly get distracted with flame verse, so that also hurts and it's, it's really insightful to see this talk are highly recommended. And she, she works at Sun and um, started a Java web forum. The, there was a Java newsnet group, um, which was very hostile. People just shouted at each other. And it was not a nice um, atmosphere to work. And she founded a Java web forum, which had one rule if you registered to it. 
um, which was um, be nice or be friendly. Some this this simple. If I, um, so, the terms of use was um, I agree to be friendly when I use this website, and that was the only terms of use for the website. And the website is huge, a huge success with three million visitors per month or something. And that I suggest really watch these talks. They are really good. Um, yeah, I've been following Debian since more than 10 years. Um, and the idea that there's nothing between Debian developers and users is not really new. It pops up quite often. Um, there are some proposals to address this, like this new Debian maintainers idea where people get upload rights without voting rights or other rights. Um, but this is also, again, a high-level entry point. You need to be able to package. You need to have a package in Debian. It's, it's nothing for starters, really. Um, and <coughs> also, Debian com there, there are many Debian communities. Um, Debian is how old? 13 years? Yeah, something like that. Um, but Debian is also a bit scattered around um, with the resources. So that's another idea what Debian community should give users a single entry point. Um, yeah. <coughs> now I'll explain the basic ideas I have um, for Debian community. Um, also what Debian community should not be. Um, there should be some rules, but not too many. And Debian developers are welcome in the project, um, but it's really for the rest of the Debian community. Because for Debian developers, there's lots of structure. There is everything. So that's not really needed. Um, yeah, it should not be about reinventing the wheel. There are <coughs> um, one, there are lots of forums. There are other projects to get people involved. And I don't think Debian community should um, try to replace that because it works mostly. So the, the first thing I had was also in Australia, there was a guy who was in NM since two years, and he was from, I think, Colombia. I don't remember really. And he was very happy with his Ubuntu.com business card. Like he was somebody, he had, he, were, he had a Ubuntu.com business card, and he was really happy. He applied for NM two years ago, and didn't make many progress there, but Ubuntu acknowledged his contributions very fast. He got this email address, printed it on this business card, and was happy. <laughs> he was from Chile. OK. <laughs> uh, I could, yeah. Thanks. Um, and I decided to choose the name Debian Community Org because I think the email address looks fancier than community.debian.net. Somehow, org mailing address are more appealing to most people. Um, and this email address should also be easy to get after some contributions um, so that people um, get involved. Um, but it also should not be a, um, a right to have, or a, you, you should um, continue to contribute to have keep this address. Um, and these rules or guidelines um, need to be written down. I'll come to that later. And the only thing there really is it should only be used for Debian-related matters and not for setting up your own business or something. Um, <coughs> yeah, the exact how to, how to get an email address needs to be defined soon because people um, keep asking me or started asking me I want such an address and of course I could there are some people who are Debian developers who want one and they contribute so I could definitely give that to them but I want to have the procedure first um, there is the idea of karma points or collecting something so if you file three bucks or fix two or maybe it's five um, then you can get such an email address um, this needs to be decided soon, like um, I would say within the next months or two, and written down, and then we can later change it, but 
to keep this um, this level idea, which um, is from this Casey Sierra talk, there should be something. And how to track this? Um, my my idea is that people set up a user page on Wiki um, Debian Community Org, where they can list what they do in De in Debian. So then you can see, okay, this person does this and that, and fine. Um, planets. There are five, I think, p um, planet Debians, the, the normal planet Debian org, and four in different languages, but many languages are missing, and planet Debian org is also, again, only for Debian developers or people in NM. Um, so my idea is to have one planet Debian community org for everybody who has a Debian-related feed, and the same then for the um, different um, language planets. And T-shirts. <laughs> um, everybody loves T-shirts. They, they show um, that you're affiliated with the project. They also advertise, advertise the project, and they um, let people identify with it. Um, then, si since a month or two, there is Debian Art Org, which now is a source for T-shirts. Um, so, I. Mm, don't think really Debian community needs to deal with T-shirt. It's also um, we shipping the T-shirt is really more a business if you do it worldwide. So I'm happy to just have it somewhere else, have the T-shirt under a license so that people can copy, modify them, and that are the Debian community T-shirts. Um, yeah, and the project needs to be localized um, because many people. Um, especially who are not developers writing code, um, are not so firm with English. Um, so it needs to be localized. This is for the, the web page, the planets, and even the t-shirts should be localized. Um, there is the question how to keep the translations in sync. That was one of the re main reasons why I choose IkiWiki, because IkiWiki is easy modifiable, can modify it very easily. And my idea is to use a technique like the Debian web pages, which store uh, um, in Debian web pages, there's the CVS ID in the, in the main English page, and then the translated web pages refer to that ID, so you can see the translation, the German translation is three re revisions behind. Um, the additionally difficulty will be that in the wiki, there will all, there will be pages which are more up to date or first created in Spanish or, or French or other languages. So it's not like the Debian web pages where, every, where English is always the, um, the master language. There will be other um, main sources. But that should be able to define, to have another um, pseudo header who, which defines which language is the master language. Um, then Fedora came up with the idea of having ambassadors, which are basically, I think, two people assigned for a country um, who, um, so what's the word, who represent um, the project in a, in a specific country. Um, I think AJ brought the idea on Debian project some months ago. Um, I think it's a good idea, and it would also be another level which people could try to reach, and it would also help um, because I cannot, I don't know how the French or um, Colombian or whatever com community look li looks like. <coughs> and these um, local communities, there are already local communities, so it would be useful, or not useful, it would be um, very wise to. Um, to get them involved. Um, yeah, <coughs> some, of course, some, there's also already email. Other um, s projects provide emails too. Um, and if, we, if Debian community would only be about email addresses and planets, um, that's, um, 
too little, I think, in the long run, so that um, the Debian community keeps on as the project. Um, so I thought about um, what else can be done with that domain, basically, to, um, to provide, give some context. Um, and my idea is to, Debian is very developer-centric, so it's all, the documentation is most often um, made for unstable or for testing, and then stable gets released and the, the how-tos are scattered all around the net. Um, so my idea is to use Debian community to document really stable, to Im improve the documentation, maybe to make video tutorials, um, which is also an idea from Ubuntu and Typo3, it's another it's a web application. They use video tutorials to show users how to do stuff with their project. And people are lazy, and so they download the video and watch it instead of downloading a how-to and read it. It's <laughs> strange, but it seems to really work. Um, I also want to use um, wiki Debian community org to not mess up with, Deb with the, wiki, the Debian wiki. Um, the Debian wiki is meant for, um, not really meant, but it's mostly used by developers. And I could imagine that many users are afraid um, to modify stuff there to just deal with the stuff that the great developers do. And <coughs> um, I think that to have to avoid this, what, ha what happens with Debian documentation often, that people write the documentation for a certain state, then they move on, and the documentation becomes outdated. So I propose to just work in slash edge to document really edge, and when Lenny is released, maybe copy the do documentation over what is still usable, but restart from scratch, and then there are two documentations. Um, also, it will be lots of links because there are many great how-tos on the web, um, which are just on many different web pages. Um, so <coughs> a link collection can be useful. This was also discussed already on the mailing list in probably February. Um, there's a mailing list on Alios um, where you can read about this. This is the newbie doc um, project on Berlioz, um, the guy who is the only one left, or the, not only one, he was the most active there, says he's, there are two or three other contributors, but the project um, is not so active anymore, and he was quite happy to join Debian community and provide the documentation there for a newbie view. Um, one idea is to also to, have, to document how hardware is supported, um, which has recently happen, happened on wiki Debian org, where there are um, for the notebooks pages for the different models. Um, yeah. But I'm, I'm happy to hear other ideas what to do there. Yeah. <laughs> Flame was uh, big in Debian. Not sure. Or how many of you have been annoyed by Flame Wars in the last months? <laughs> in the last half year? since using Debian. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, who likes them? Um, in real life, the basics are really simple. You just smile at someone and then he or she will smile back. And it's easy, much easier to avoid flame wars than on mailing lists, which are publicly archived. Um, but in generally, I think being friendly also works on the internet. There will still be flame wars always, but I think it's possible to keep them down more. <coughs> so I think this idea of one simple rule, I really like that. It's really, really important, and I think it's really all that is needed. Um, but, of course, there's there will be people who will not be friendly, who will flame, who will um, behave in a way that's not nice, not appropriate, um, stops 
the work going on because it distracts. <coughs> um, I'm not sh sure how to um, word that, um, but I want to have this defined bef um, because I think we need it, um, but I also think it's not needed in the beginning just to keep in mind that we really need it. So I th hope it will be set up in half a year that the, um, the different aspects are defined and um, I have it on my agenda to really int integrate that and I'm happy for suggestions how to handle it. But I also want to have the rules simple and not a um, huge <coughs> catalog constitution um, and uh, of course also people will just sometimes say, say you idiot and that's not really a problem so this three strikes is far too many um, if, if you um, if you solve the, the flame worse then it also should be fine in my opinion and of course, the long-term long -term goal is also to become an official Debian project. At the moment, it's still my idea. The domain is registered on my name, but I'm happy to give it away. But it's also not needed at the moment. Um, just something else to keep in mind. Um, I started design polls in February. There were I've got four more, more or less finished designs. and. That one from Valesio Brito, who also made the Debcon 7 um, logos and artwork, um, was the one I and others liked the most. I made a poll at Foster. Um, and I'm also fine against changing the design later. It's nothing static. Uh, in fact, the machine where Debian Community Org is running is called Bike Shed from this old um, BSD mailing list post. Um, that was about, that was <coughs> mainly not a joke, but to explain that if, if you um, set up, a, do a web, lay, um, web design or set up a simple server, then a lot of people say, oh, you can do it like this or you can do it like this. Like everybody can build a bike shed and if you build a power plant, then you just present the plans and everybody says, okay, that's great plan, let's make it like this. So bike shed is, the name to reflect that the people who do the work should decide that in the detail. Um, I'm <coughs> open, the, the whole configuration of the machine is maintained with five fully automatic installation. The configuration is in the subversion project in Alios, so every project member can change the configuration. There will be just little less people who are able to actually deploy the configuration, but everybody can make the changes. Yeah, the, <coughs> the machine is up since two months, the new one. It's hosted at the University of Gent. Um, we have an Alios project, which is D minus community, because um, Debian community was too long for Alios project names. Um, there's a subversion project, the two mailing list, and the IRC channel. Um, Joey helped me yesterday to finish the setup things of IkiWiki, um, which we still use a local SVN, um, which I would still want to either to get on Alios um, so that we use the commit mailing list there and re the backup resources and other stuff, um, but for to have the editing faster, it work better. That's a detail. Um, yeah, I need help to set this up. Um, also, the next step now that IkiWiki is running is to set up the mail service. Um, set up the planets can be done in parallel, and then the project from the infrastructure is there, and then it's only only the content remaining. Yeah, <coughs> the best way to get um, involved is to become an Alios project member and um, <coughs> so that you can work on the configuration or, or just get a wiki account and um, work on the content. There's the IRC channel, which um, 
I would favor to use for communication the ma and the mailing list. Um, yeah. That's it. Thanks for your time and your work in Debian in general. Any questions, suggestions, discussions? So, well, I was there already during the first dem when you made a first talk about Debian community, and like I was really thinking about, well, what could be the killer feature of that whole idea? What could make actually people really do want to come and join it? And join it, and we might have found that with with uh, Paul Wise, uh, the idea would be to have. A database of uh, user reviews of packages, like because um, well, it, it it actually came to us because there are a lot of people that, well, not a lot, but people are started to get to work on packages at Debian.org. Again, so like to integrate better, I don't know, uh, have a better layout, integrate dev tags, integrate dev tags with automatic suggestion, and like the page is going to is is slowly getting more and more like you know Amazon web page where like they present their books and you have like suggestions and you also have user reviews with like you know a little star mark and some well text. Um, that could be really good to have users review um, Debian packages and like on a lot of different points like for users themselves but also for QA because like we will have Another way to actually know which user are really interested into a package, which will not be uh, on the you know popcorn, which is quite I don't know have a low signal actually, uh, and and I think like to encourage like uh, users to actually review packages through Debian community will get uh, well the whole process really bootstrap well because uh, there's a lot of users that actually and uh, I have seen at least uh, you know, Google for some free software application and find that it's, it's actually really already in Debian because they, they, they managed to uh, get like the, the packages at Debian.org pages are fairly well ranked already on Google so they get to this page and they see oh someone has made a review well why, what, I would like to make a review of such of our packages so that's, that, was, that, that was one of the idea but I think it will really fit and um, well might be quite interesting to working into making this happen actually. You're welcome to do so. <laughs> what, well, what, what do you think about the general idea? Well, um, um. So you said something about uh, how to define the guidelines for behaving in this community and something about define the positive process. And to me, it seems really like what has been done with the Debian community guidelines by Enrico. So I'm wondering if you have considered just adopting them as a positive process to be the basis for debiancommunity.org. Yeah, they are in fact linked on the web page. I think they are really good, but I think they're too long, even if they are really short. There are only two pages or something, but um, as a general rule, I think they are too long. I want to keep it really simple for that. And of course, encourage to longer documents. There is much longer text which are still useful. And could you said um, you wanted to integrate um, a lot of the existing forums and communities in, in Debian already. Uh, do you have a specific idea on how to um, get com communities that already have maybe their own, uh, well, not code of conduct, but they have their their own way of behaving? Maybe inside Debian community, there's all these maybe n rules that weren't didn't apply before. Um, um, there is not much, which, in my opinion, Debian community. Yes, there is there's a mailing list which is for the discussion about the project itself, but it's not um, for the it's more about the infrastructure side and not 
should not be, become a general Debian helpline, like the IRC channel um, should not be if that people join and ask, how do I get my hardware configured? So there are <coughs> the existing um, communication channels, be it um, IRC channels, be it um, web forums, which many users like to use, or the mailing list. And the specific rules from there still apply. So if the Argentinian community is very into flaming, they can do that on their um, Argentinian Debian IRC channel. And if the other community is doing that, then it's fine. It just should be on, it's mostly on the wiki. It's, it's also, um, if, if somebody writes with the Debian community mailing, Debian community org mail address um, on the Debian mailing list, I don't think that the Debian community org guidelines should apply there. It's a Debian mailing list and they just use it just if they really completely abuse it, which then maybe. But I think in general, um, Debian community should more uh, a meeting point or not a, meet, a connecting point and use the existing stuff, especially for forums. There is forums Debianet, which is really good, has, I forgot, 9,000 users or more. There are many users in this forum um, which are just, which are happy there. So I don't want to set up a new, new forum or new mailing list. That doesn't make sense. They're, they exist. So first of all, I must say I'm really satisfied that you are doing this work. It seemed to be a very good effort to make the Debian community uh, more visible for the Debian developers as such. I'm the popularity contest maintainer and I've been amazed uh, reading the developer mailing list that some Debian developers actually believe that unstable and testing was more used than the stable version of, test de of Debian that, that is actually like drop the Stebian version. Luckily now with Edge released, it's obvious that uh, at least uh, three times more are using the stable version that the, than the uh, unstable version. And I hope your community can prove that the uh, Debian community is a lot larger than the uh, developer community. Thanks. Thanks. I have a suggestion maybe. Uh, if you uh, are the person who makes the decision about whether people have violated the rules too much, that's a pretty hot spot. <laughs> so how about setting up a uh, anonymous place, uh, well, the, 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 the name needs to, to, to go to that place, but not to be publicized. But anytime somebody feels like anyone has been flamed personally rather than technically. Uh, you have a certain number of those that you, you collect and then finally you give the first warning and if you get more of them, you give the second warning and, and so forth. So it's not uh, just your decision. Uh, it's a matter of uh, the community complaining because somebody is wasting our time uh, with personal induendos rather than uh, something productive. I definitely don't want to be the person deciding there who's misbehaving. Definitely um, not alone. There must, must be some procedure, some committee, some something. Um, And yeah, this is one implementation proposal. There might, there will be others, and I think um, I'm <clears throat> I want to write them down in the wiki now that the wiki is up. Since yesterday, until yesterday, the web page was static HTML pages. Um, now it's a wiki, so then people can write down their proposals. And in three months, half a year, nine months, when the other stuff is up and running. We can do this for the moment. I think I don't expect many flames or idiots just coming right now. So I think this can be solved a bit later. I think just in general, it should be clear that the, um, not everything will be tolerated. So for now, I think it's fine. But I'm happy if you write down your proposal now. Of course, 
yeah, and in some time we'll need to, we'll need to come back to that. Um, I have a problem with the name Debian community, uh, personally, uh, is that I would, I would have assumed that the Debian community is Debian.org and basically nothing else. And also in the same way, um, uh, let's say it's another question, it's um, I would have thought that anybody who contributes translation or whatever should actually be part of Debian.org. Yeah, but this is not the case. Trend, there's, there's only been, one, to my knowledge, one developer who became a develop, developer from translation work. Um, and also what, this Valesio Brito who made the artwork, maybe he, if I think he should be, um, get an official, if he wants it, of course, um, official aff affiliation with Debian. But he, there is no way that an artist at the moment can become a Debian developer. He needs to learn how to package software, which I don't think every artist wants to do. <laughs> and I'm all for moving this to community.debian.org. This is definitely my long-term goal, to get rid of this domain and use community.debian.org. Or, or may, maybe the other name would be user.community.debian.org. Because there is, of course, there are many communities in Debian already. But Debian.org is very developer-centric. And maybe, uh, the idea of Debian community yeah, is good, but uh, what about inside Debian? creating another class of users of people belonging to Debian but not being Debian developer, having something else and, for instance, not voting for what is uh, about um, te technical choices but maybe uh, for some other kind of guidelines. <clears throat> yeah, I think it's good and I, I'm, ha I'm happy to see that it happens, like this um, Debian maintainers who can upload packages and have no voting rights and can only upload their packages is being discussed, worked on, and implemented. Um, but this is, again, just for technical people. This, again, Valesio is not there, or other artists or translators or whatever, other contributors. Um, and I think it's, it's okay to go different ways. For the, f there, there are many goals which are similar but um, target different aspects. So I think it's, it's a bit different. I would like to see Debian contributors for people like translators and artists. Or Debian artists and Debian translators in the same way as are Debian developers. But this, this needs to become in Debian, this needs the constitution change, and, and, and. And this is just um, a different approach to, to create something from the, it's a bit outside Debian, like there are many projects start outside of Debian, like the whole Debian.net um, domain is outside Debian officially, that are um, single developers or group of developers' opinions or um, works and then may, sometimes they get into Debian officially, and sometimes they don't. And um, good things usually get into Debian. So and I definitely want to get this into Debian, but I, if I, I don't want to start it in Debian, I want to start it outside, and yeah. Um, I think that the past years show that um, every, mo uh, most of, most of all, um, new infrastructure projects um, that have been successful um, have been started outside of Debian in, in this sense that they weren't hosted at the beginning at a Debian org machine. This might be not an ideal solution, but it is a fact. Um, I think um, all services like the wiki, um, I think popcorn, um, all stuff has um, started at, uh, at uh, outside of the Debian infrastructure and has moved there when people saw that it was successful. Um, the show, show us the code approach uh, works normally where we well. We might um, manage to um, 
make this more flexible or more open in the future, but we haven't managed so far. So I, th I think the approach that Holger has chosen is a wise one. It might, might be not an ideal one, but it, it, uh, it, it has a good ch chance of success, and I wouldn't say that of many other approaches that one could take. Okay, <clears throat> time is out as I see from the back. Um, thank you for coming. Hope you join the efforts and have fun the rest of DEPCONF.